So this is one of my favorite herbs here in the south of Portugal. It's right now in bloom and it covers our hills. It grows very abundantly because the seeds survive also fires and we have many wildfires here in the summer. So this is the first plant to grow back and cover the hills and green them again. And of course they have these big beautiful flowers that you can see here. So this is Cistus ladanifer. I'm also going to show you some others, other Cistus uh, flowers of the same family, family members. So this one is one of my favorites of them. It is very sticky, so these nice fresh leaves here, they're covered in a resin. So it's actually, it's also called gum rock rose in English, but it's actually not a gum. It's of course, yeah, just a nice smelling, very aromatic resin. So my favorite way uh, to use this plant in a herbal preparation. Oh, you see the bees. Yeah, the bees love it. <laughs> of course, they love these flowers. So I normally infuse this plant into oil to make a nice smelling massage oil. It's very relaxing and it has a wonderful smell. There's also one company here in Portugal. They actually make the essential oil out of the plant. So uh, once I made a hydrolet with an herbalist friend and uh, we made a champagne out of it. So we fermented uh, the, the upper part all everything the flowers and the the nice fresh younger green leaves and just put it in water with a little lemon and sugar and let it ferment it turned into a beautiful champagne that tasted and smelled beautifully so let me show you some other members of this family of the sisters family so this one is also a cistus, a rock rose it's cistus crispus so this is really bright and pink And this one here with the white little flowers is the Montpellier Cistus. I mean, the bees love all of these, of course, and they're all over now. And this here, another one with white flowers, but they are a bit bigger. This is the sage-leaved Cistus. So here you can see, yeah, those, those leaves are a bit more leathery. They don't have the sticky resin like the first one we saw. Here you see again the pink one, the Sistus crispus, just right next to it. And here another happy bumblebee on the gray-leaved Sistus. So this one is the Cistus albidus. So yeah, this is the Cistus albidus. And all of these that I showed you now, um, they are very high in polyphenols. So rich in antioxidants. They are antiviral, antiseptic, anti-inflammatory. So astringent, they're also... So we can use them and just make a tea or a throat uh, gargle or a mouthwash. Uh, we could use them as a poultice, but usually I make a tea, mix some other things in and yeah, if I need a bit of astringent, antiseptic, anti-inflammatory action. And yeah, it's just amazing because we don't have to plant them. They grow wild. <laughs> they have their function in the ecosystem uh, and they're very beautiful. And the bees enjoy them also. <laughs> Yeah, I show you again the first one, the gum rock rose, the Cistus ladanifers here, so you can see how tall they grow. It's really amazing. They are taller each year. And here is one more thing that you can do with this beautiful plant. My kids discovered this, of course, so they take a tiny little leaf and if you have a scrape or a cut, you just stick it to your skin and you have an instant wound covering that is antiseptic. How practical and it just sticks and holds really well. So that's why we call it here also sticky bush or the actual Portuguese name, how the Portuguese call it is Esteva. Esteva. Gum rock rose cystus. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this. Greetings from Portugal.